So I have a sink full of hot soapy water in little jam jars soaking in the sink because it's called Parent Volunteer Day <laughs> at Cameron's. <laughs> right, Hannah? Right. <laughs> so here's one thing I want to tell everybody. So the reason why Lydia, oh, the, least, the reason why she sent us home a box of jam jars. Lydia is the manager. It's yeah. okay, honey. Okay. Um, <laughs> the reason why she sent us home the, the box of jam jars is because they have extremely sticky, sticky labels on them, and we have to label them and then seal them with full of delicious blueberry jam, which I hope I can bring to mom. So that's why I kind of don't want to use a harsh chemical on it. Yeah. So I was just Googling, and I think what we're going to try is equal portions of baking soda mm -hmm. and vegetable oil. And that should do it. Although it sounds a lot like um, Barkeeper's Friend. <laughs> but I'm going to just go ahead and make this up because it is a natural way to do it. Yeah. And see if it works. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to send the jars back to you nice and sparkly clean right. so that you can fill them with delicious jams. Yes. And sell them in the shop. Yeah, and bring home to you. <laughs> yes, please. I'm going to need a nice, because you went blueberry picking last week, didn't you? Yes, last week. Yeah, Thursday. so we're gonna, I'm going to definitely need a jar of that blueberry jam. All right. I All hope right. To <laughs> I think tomorrow I'm going to have a. a a box of jars that need labels printed or labels uh, attached to them. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I'm going to do my parent volunteer work today, Hannah. All right. Thank so, you for doing okay. It. You are so welcome. Yeah. So usually at the shop, they have parents go and do grocery runs. They have them go and shop at the uh, restaurant depot or Costco or something like that. And unfortunately, it's very difficult for me to leave the house and go off and do that with all these kids at home. Um, the other thing is they won't let me go to my restaurant depot for some reason. They have to have me go to the one that's like in the city. And you know, you saw my van, that great big van. So no. <laughs> and so I like nice big parking lots and familiar places, but that's one of the reasons that um, she sent these jars home for me because I'm not able to make those grocery runs and all of the parents have to volunteer as part of the, you know, part of the um, prerequisite for employment at the shop is the parents do need to volunteer to do something. So, and I haven't really ever done anything. And so the least I can do is take the labels off these jars. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's see if this works. Baking soda, vegetable oil. It's worth a shot, right? Normally I would probably just take nail polish remover to them or rubbing alcohol, which I don't have. But again, since they need to use these jars for, you know, sale for food, I figured I'd do something that was a little safer or seemed a little safer, food safe. You know, I think this is the same concoction you use for scratches on hardwood floors, too. I may need to try that sometime, also. Okay, what an interesting mess. Let me get a whisk. Hmm. Kind of make a paste together. Let's see. Can we see it in there? Let's see, it's got cooking oil, equal parts cooking oil and baking soda. about right. We get a little more baking soda. So at the beginning of the pandemic, you know, we couldn't get just regular size baking sodas. So Joe got me these humongous <laughs> size baking sodas at the, you know, online because you couldn't get anything in the stores back in that, you know, at that moment in time. Okay, I think this is good. Good. See that? It's a 
Good thing Jessie's flip-flopped her. I wouldn't even be able to do this today. She's sound asleep. She missed her music lesson with Zoe. And Mr. Obed got her lesson. And apparently that was a good call because he did really, really well. He's saying a lot of words. And, um, and she had a really good... Oh, it's coming right off just easily this way. So, let's see. Gosh, they're hardly, they're almost already clean anyhow. Okay, so see, I'm just putting that paste on the jar. I've soaked it in soapy water. I'm just putting this paste on. Comes right off. I don't even think I need to soak these. It's just coming right off. Makes sense, right? I'm gonna try it that way first. Yeah, I can't even feel it. Hmm. Pretty nifty, huh? There's always something that you can substitute in your pantry for some kind of cleaning or kitchen hack. So there they are, all soaking with that concoction on them whole bunch of jars there. We're just going to let those sit for a few minutes, along with my, you know, dishes drying and everything else in my kitchen that's going on. But we'll just let those sit for a minute, and then I'll wash them off and see how that worked. Just scrubbing away over here, getting all this sticky residue off of these little jars. I don't know why they can't buy them without labels attached, but, you know, as I sit here and do this little task. I'm wondering a few things and why are the labels on there? I, I don't know, maybe it's the size jar or something, but. Is it like produce stickers where they just find it absolutely necessary to put little teeny tiny irritating stickers on every single piece of fruit in the produce aisle? My biggest pet peeve on the planet is produce stickers. Why? Somebody tell me why. It's okay. I don't mind at all. So probably not the best idea to be sitting here with hot running water following a septic failure in our home. Yeah, you heard me right. We had another septic failure in our home. I had to laugh. One of you guys was talking about our you know, the luck that we have with water in this house, how crazy it is, and the problems that we've had. You know, we, um, we've had three septic failures since we lived here. The latest was just last week in, this, uh, in one of these torrential downpours. I think it was the same one where you saw the gutters failing. So that was a real special day, a real special night. And um, thank God we had the generator, otherwise we wouldn't have known. And we would have woke up to a disaster in our basement, but we were able because of the alarms going off and, um, you know, we had light to be able to get down there and clean it. We caught it before it went into onto carpet and all that, but later on when Joe's available, maybe we'll sit down and tell you about our septic situation. It's quite interesting. Um, it's an interesting story, actually. But right now, we're getting stickers off of baby food jars and running water constantly into a sink on a rainy day. Wish me luck. Okay, so there we go. All washed, stickers off, and we'll come back and do a, a QC quality control in a little bit. <laughs> Abby, did yeah. you think I was talking to you? Yeah. I'm talking to our friends. Okay. Abby's sitting over here in the kitchen with me watching, asking me for a smoothie every five minutes. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. 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 But it's almost dinner time. Oh, okay. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> but we'll get you a smoothie at some point, okay? okay? Might not be till tomorrow, but you'll get your smoothie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Say jam jars three times fast. Oh. Kim go jump Kim go Keep going. Kim go go Kim go Kim go Kim go Kim Kim go Kim go Good job, Abby. Want to give it a try, David? 
Uh, jam jar, jam jar, jam jar. Not bad for braces. Jam jars. Jam Anybody jam else over there? Jam jam Hannah? Jam jars, jam jars, jam jars, jam jars, jam jars, jam jars. I can't do it. Jam jars, jam jars, jam jars, jam jars, jam jars. I can do it slow. Bethany? Oh, I think Abby wins the prize. always something I know so those those um, little those pods things. These, things. these little pods, little pods okay this is part of our septic isn't that ugly so it's an alternative uh, septic system right because we don't that have was, that was the that was the thing 15 years ago when we built our house it was required in our community to have these alternative septic systems. And they were, and have been, very expensive. They're expensive to maintain. They have a lot of parts and things that so, can be broken. So what happens is the wastewater that comes from our house through our septic right. is pumped up through these doohickeys. Pods. These pods, which are filled with peat moss. But it's not just everyday peat moss. It's not. It's special grade peat moss that comes from Ireland. And you can't get it from anywhere no, else. It's one source of one peat moss proprietary blend in Ireland. Boy, if that doesn't scream government kickbacks and bureaucracy. No kidding. So each one of these pods, we have six, six pods, and each one of these lovely little pods costs $2,000 for peat moss. Just for maintenance, to, main, to redo that pod. Each which, pod. and this Time year, six, yeah, is twelve, 12 grand. 000 which we need to do this year. Now they also tell you that these things are only supposed to have a life of about 20 years. So we're already 15 years in and we've got at least $2,000 times six, which is 12,000 just to put the Tiffany grade <laughs> proprietary <laughs> Fancy schmancy 
<laughs> government Irish approved government approved peat moss into mm -hmm. these units. So, and then take away the old the old right. stuff and get rid of it because it's hazardous material. Exactly. And all that. Now, about 10 years ago, they threw out this requirement in our community that you did not have long to have. after we moved yeah, in. After we moved in and after the crash of the real estate market and all that stuff, there was no more money flowing around the marketplace in our community to be able to pay these people to do all the things that they do. So these things are no longer required in this form. So, and this is our year to have to replace this peat moss, yeah. which is kind of an interesting thing because we just had last week our not our first, not our second, but our third septic backup. So we got to think it, and you know we're going on this um, landscape journey, and our landscape architect took one look at these things and he said, "Let's get rid of those ugly things." I did not think it was They're not even... ugly, though, are they? <sighs> it's like yeah, a bunch of ugly. trash and cans. It ruins our view from our patio. Because it's right directly here. off our kitchen. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know. Let's go down here and look at our beautiful yard. Okay. All right, so there they are. So our, our landscape architect, he says, well, let's just get rid of those things. And we're like, oh, yeah, the new septic system, right? So... So we got to thinking that $12,000 for those stupid pods that has to be done anyway. And between that and the backup, we yeah. had a septic engineer come over here last week. We can sit over here if we want. Yep. We okay. had a septic engineer come over here last week and, and take a look at it. Turns out he's the guy who put in the original system. Did we blame him? No, we blame the builder because he told us all kinds of stories. Yeah, of what was happening back and, then. And he said that this wasn't the right system for this house to begin with. They, We have like a five bedroom perk, but we have more bedrooms than that and more people. So the whole thing is kind of It's ridiculous. sized properly for the eight people that we have. It's plenty big for what they're saying, but... Anyway, we're going to replace our septic system. Yeah, it's gonna cost more than twelve thousand. <laughs> but you have that's not the last time you have to do that piece. Exactly. Loss. Right, right. So right. this and is an ongoing thing and years, so. with it being fifteen years. So anyway, that is going to kind of delay the start of our landscaping. So we hired a little a, bit. So we hired the soil guy, the engineer, to mm -hmm. come out. And of course they charge money. Uh, to do that. Now, he gave us a consult for free, which was great. The guy who, who built the thing in the first place. Right. But um, he, I didn't he's know understanding. That. I didn't know that's who I was right. calling. That was so, kind of a coincidence. So he asked us to install a, a flow meter on our uh, well pump tank. Yeah, to kind of make sure. So now we're intimately familiar with our well pump <laughs> tank. Because it has exploded and has gotten <laughs> valve replaced and you've seen videos of us going through our place where we've had all this stuff and me trying to get our plumber to come on the, you know, on a Sunday and he had to go to church and, the and all that. And the pandemic. And the pandemic and who wants to come out and do all that stuff. So we've had our share water problems. So anyway, our, so the, the guy told us if we put a water meter a water flow meter on our tank so that Step we know one. so we know exactly how much water we're using for this family mm -hmm. every week and every month so yeah. that will help and make our case for whatever system we need it'll be right on the money of what we well, actually it's just use to, to make sure that we get the right size yeah yeah, exactly. So that's going to happen because you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to be like you want to be like Goldilocks. <laughs> not, not too much, much not too, too little, just right. right, just right. And that's right sizing it for our family. So this and, new system, and because we're not empty nesters, or never, will never be. will be, the use of water in this house will continue. Yes, for many many years to come. It will. There's so it's, it's not laundry, drop. baths, it's all yeah. of that. Yeah. So, so we're making plans five, ten, 
15, 20 years out. Right. And for this system. To make sure that everything, right. you know, flows smoothly. <laughs> runs. And we'll know exactly how much we're flying. It runs according to plan. <laughs> but the new system has a much smaller footprint. Yeah. And basically. They say it looks like a doghouse. Right. But then people say, what? size of a dog <laughs> is it the size of a great dane dog house or a little but those you know, pods go but, away the pods do and go then away there's a tank on the other side of the yard and we so. have some amazing plans for that area above the mm -hmm. pods and now if the pods go away oh it'll be even better i am a little bit reluctant to talk about our plans know, because right, it's right, going to right. take a long time i know i yeah. mean the first thing that's going to go in that's is unless our... we have a million subscribers yeah if we have that if, a hundred thousand won't quite get us there but hit the like <laughs> button and the subscribe and to help us get to a hundred thousand but <laughs> We might need a million subscribers to be able to do what we want to do. <laughs> the in first the back, thing that but... goes in is going to be our fence. But yeah. we can only do three quarters of our fence because <laughs> <laughs> because we're hoping to be able to put in a swimming pool. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Someday in, in, the, the, in the fairly near future. In the future. Yeah. Right. I mean, the pool builders, it's even gonna if take you two were. Years oh, yeah, because if the anyway. pool builders, if you were ready right now, they're still, they're a year yeah. out in this area. Yeah. So it's at least a year. It's probably more like a year and a half, I would say, before yeah. we get started. And then we got to put the fence in, but three quarters of the fence, and then the pool. And then the rest and, of it gets finished after that. But we have plans for extensive landscaping and, you know, and all kinds five -year of plan. things. It's a five year plan. Well, we've so. been here 15 years and haven't started that part yet right because stuff keeps happening yeah and but stuff is going to probably continue to happen you think oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so that's the deal our septic woes for the week we're lucky that we caught that in time you see them back there and they're always keep, in our i'm, I'm keep sorry taking see, my camera right. away from me we're terrible right. blockers Oops, where's my finger? They're right there. See, they're always in our view. Right. <laughs> anyway, we're crappy vloggers. I don't know. I'm trying to think I, of something. I know. I'm trying to I think know. of something punny. I know. But we keep working with the number one people in the number two business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there you go. You know, you have a bad day. You gotta kind of turn your frown upside down and <laughs> <laughs> turn your, make your lemonade from your lemons. You yeah, know, I mean, you have a bad and day. Just right? keep on going. But hey, we'll have a brand new septic system. You know, we'll be able to take people on tours <laughs> of our new septic system. <gasps> yeah, uh, it's all gonna be choice, very interesting. So anyway, I've got the guy coming out to put the flow meter mm -hmm. in a few weeks yeah. when it comes probably on some ship that's it's you know, a process everything grounded is a in process. the Suez Canal or something or yes. somewhere else because our shipping supplies our shipping well there's that too system. you know that peat moss you can't that, get anything you, oh the, the peat moss is three four months you, you can't, can't even get, get the peat moss that they no, make you get no you can't get it it's it's on back order you can't even get it yeah, so and it, one of our septic companies called us and said that you might get a fine if you don't do yeah, it yeah and then like they're a, gonna fine us yeah like right are you, you're gonna fine us because we can't <laughs> service our twelve thousand dollar peat moss you know <laughs> debacle thing. so so that's what we're gonna anyway be doing. we're gonna get a flow flow meter put it on there yeah. and boy it's gonna be nice that flow meter <laughs> it's got like this analog not even digital you can't even get one that connects to your laptop or i think to i think network. fans swimming they pool this... plants will be nicer this yeah. is this is kind of like spending money on underwear what do you mean <laughs> I'm wondering about how that ties in oh, with what we're talking about. Infrastructure. Okay. It's All not right. my, I, I like the pretty stuff. We'll I get know. to the pretty stuff eventually. Half the money we spend goes on the stuff that you oh, can't see. You can't see. We, and we keep fixing this house. We keep fixing it and fixing it and fixing I know. it. You I know. know. I haven't gotten anybody out to see the gutters yet either. But we are very thankful but for we will. it. And, you know, we do have a nice yeah, place. And we do. We're All here right. for the long haul. Well, you bet we are yeah. because so. you keep spending money, you're never going to get it back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can't afford to move. But we're here a lot, so we spend all our time. Yeah, and the kids like here. the house and they're used to it, so yeah. we have to we have to shore up everything to make sure it all works well and is low yeah. maintenance. That new system will be low maintenance for their needs. <laughs> no more peat moss. That's what they all say. 
They're low maintenance. Mm. Right. Well, you know, the first time we had that, um, the the backup was the worst one of all. I mean, we had we that couldn't clean that up ourselves. We had to have Surf Pro come out. Yeah. And um, I it, think they had to pay twenty five thousand dollars. It to was have the that second year. The insurance company paid for that, or the the builders' insurance company paid for that. It was the second year that we owned the home, so obviously, you know, it, they were responsible. But they kept trying to blame our kids. I know. Hey, they're putting they're putting craft projects down my, there. It's my like kids we, our don't kids do don't craft do craft pro projects. You know, like, maybe maybe like construction that. paper. They said it's construction paper. Yeah, right. So maybe no. construction paper from constructing the no. house. Yeah, but, not from um, our kids. But yeah, that was real bad. So the builder yeah. cleaned it up, but he wouldn't put everything back, and we had finished our basement. Yeah. So yeah. then we oh, it was a mess. In more ways than one, literally and figuratively. It was a couple so, of inches worth of, affluent, you know, stuff. Affluent, what they call it. <laughs> so, stuff. affluent, what do they call so it? So, anyway, affluent. enough of this uh, All right. septic stuff. But, okay. So, yeah, that's a little bit bigger deal than gutters. Kind of all goes together. It all goes together. All right, so it's gonna, we continue to um, conquer our water and sewage and drainage and gutter and leaks and all the water situation. Did I tell you that I don't do water? That I don't do plumbing. I don't do water. We know. I, <laughs> we know. Yeah. But it's not from lack of maintenance on my part of any of this stuff. This, not water this is not no. I mean, we it's, have the septic people yeah, come out all the time. Yeah, no, do. it's not at all. But we have all these water people on speed dial. We do. We have like a half a dozen water people that do different things. Sewer, pump, gutters, plumbing, all of them. There, we have them on a well, water conditioner. <laughs> we have all of them on speed dial, so. I mean, a lot of us. it has to do with the lousy drainage on our, our yeah. you know. We so. don't have city water and we don't have city sewer. So those of you who live in a city, okay, you don't have to deal with this, right? Because you just call your you county or city this. and say, hey, do this. But we're self-contained here self-sufficient in the positive sense right from our water point of view because we have a 300 foot well we don't have chickens or anything no chickens we're not self-sufficient that we couldn't <laughs> there's no way we could have enough chickens that would support the egg <laughs> demand for this, this for family. this family <gasps> so that's uh and they can't go pick well, I guess I could go get the eggs. That would be funny. I keep looking for a spot. Maybe, maybe we can put the chicken coop Honey, where the... right there. Okay, guys, we're going to go. Okay. Okay. See ya. Bye. It would have to be like a condo of like 50 chickens. That would be awesome. Did you just smell that? I just got a whiff. There's more reasons than one that we need Every to. Every once in a while. We got to get this thing fixed. We do. Yeah. So what are you supposed to say? You're supposed to say, okay, so like, subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Right. Help us get our together. Help us get our... Help us get our together. In more ways than one. <laughs>